The next topic is functions in C++. The process of dividing a program into small subprograms and manipulating them independently is known as modular programming. This is the definition. So what, does, what it does mean is you're going to divide a large program into small program and you're going to process that small programs individually. That concept, you call it as divide and conquer technique. That is a basic foundation for modular programming. So that module or as called as a function, it is nothing but a group of statements that together perform a task. So mainly these functions is used to execute a particular task with return as a group of statements. Mainly they are used for code reusability so that the time and space can be saved. So if you look at this figure, you can able to see program without function as a large program. This is your starting line and this is your ending line. You can see the, this much statement has been written. It is a large program. But at the same time, if you use program with functions, you can directly reduce this particular large program into small program. Meaning that this particular statement has been taken through a function. So this is a function. It consists of the particular block of code and that particular block of code can be called whenever you need in a program. This is a concept of functions. So what are the advantages of using function is it support modular programming, reduction and program size. As you can see, this is a large program is being divided into small programs. Code duplication is avoided. This particular statement is written again. That duplication is avoided and code reusability is provided. You can use the same set of statements here, here and anywhere else. So that reusability is provided and they can be called repetitively. You can call any time. So you say here once you have called, second time you have called like this. Can be used to form libraries also. These are the basic introduction of function. <coughs> So there are two types of function. One you call it as library function and the second one you call it as user defined function. Library function is nothing but they are a predefined function that has been declared in the form of header files. Like if you use a header file like stdio.h, print a function you are using. So that is called as a library function. And if you use math header file, power function you are using that is called as a pre-built function. And the same way, user defined function that has been, as the name indicates, it has been created by the user and the programmer, the user have to declare that particular function. For example, factorial of area of circle. These are the name of the function that has been returned by the user. So there are two types of function. They are called as a building blocks of the program. Functions are called as a building blocks of the program. They make the programs more modular and easy to read and manage. All the C++ programs must contain the function main. Main is one of the function. So each and every C++ program should contain that main function. And the execution of the program starts from the main function only. So all the programs should include the main function so that the execution starts from there. So in C++, this main function, it always return one integer value to the operating system so that if that particular integer value is zero, it means the program is executed successfully. And if it is a non-zero, that program was unsuccessful. So the statement return zero, this return zero statement, it indicates that the program execution is successful. So how we have to declare the prototype of the main function is like this int main of or int main. If it is a command line argument, you have to include this argument arc C and arc V. So the, likewise, you have to always have a return type in the C++ function for the main. So uh, for that, you have to use a return function. Return statement, you have to use that. If you have, if you does not include that particular return statement, you have, will have an error message like function should return a value. So we'll see the difference between the main function in C++ and C, how the main function looks like. So see in C++, you will have a return value. That return value may be of the, the data type that is going to return by the function. It may be of integer, it may be of a float, or it may be of void, anything. <clears throat> so this return type, 
for that you have to use the return statement and this return statement can be of void if it is declared as void so no need of this return statement if other than the void like int or double or float you have to use that return statement if it is void there is no need of the return statement and in c you can see that no return type at all in c you no need to specify the return type and the return statement also it can be also declared as void but in C++, it is a compulsory aspect of declaring the return type of the main function. So next part is parts of a function. Next topic is parts of function. It includes a function, prototype declaration, function definition, function call, actual and formal arguments, the return statement. So these are the five parts of a function. So function prototype in C++, While defining user defined function, user should also declare its prototype. A prototype statement, it helps a compiler to check the return on argument types of the function. Function order return type and argument abding rather type in abding rather check panda call it as a prototype statement. It consists of the function return type, name and argument list. So return name of the function, return type, and arguments data type and number. These three information should be known with the help of the function prototype. The function prototype declaration should always be terminated with semicolon. So three important aspects of a function prototype is the name of the function, return values type, and the type and number of arguments. So this is the general form of the function declaration that is a return type here, and this is a function name, and this is a parameter list. The return type specifies the type of the data and the parameter list. It can also be empty. It doesn't mean that you have to include each and every time the parameters. It can also be empty. It contains both the data type and the name of the variable. So this is what the example. This is the return type. This is the function name. This is the parameter list. This is this diagram shows some examples of the declaration void show void so this is a return type and this is a function name and this is a parameter list if it is empty you can also use the word void and this second b diagram syntax denotes some is the function name return type is float and includes a parameter float one is float and another parameter is int third is one a parameter with a variable name and a third one with the variable y. It is optional and it is also not compulsory to use a particular variable name. <clears throat> it looks like this. The parts of the function, it looks like this. Function prototype, actual argument, function call, formal pair arguments, function declarator. These are the parts. As you can see, this is the main function. This function declaration, it includes the func name of the function. This is the name and this is the return type and this is the parameters. And this is called as a func two variables have been declared. Two variables have been declared float x and y is equal to 2.4. Int is equal, z is equal to 5. So these are the two types of data type that has been declared x, y, and z. And for the x, you have assigned a statement sum of y comma z, meaning that this statement you call it as a function call, function call. And you're closing the parentheses within the main. When once the, this particular function is being called, the control goes to the function definition, meaning that this is the definition. It includes the function body. So this sums. This is a declaration. This is a sum de function definition. So in the function, I have been solid to declare the I call it as a prototype. And the prototype you can declare the function in the call pandringa. Call pan on you control should enter under the function definition where it includes the function body. So the function body is float and float. You can in float. int can do in int. Render parameters pass panel king y comma y and z and the y in the j can era poho z and the k can era poho. So y la 2.4 in the j z la 5 in the j. So 2.4 plus 5 up ding rather than in the other long look at some pani kuduko. Some pani or value kuduko and the value dang return pandringa in the return pandrada or data type float on soldering. So in that la control x is equal to 7.4 up dina unglucking a. Answer return pun. 
இதுதான் கான்செப்ட் ஸோ மெயின் ஃபங்க்ஷனுக்குள்ள ஃபங்க்ஷன் டிக்ளரேஷன் பண்ணுறீங்க திஸ் இஸ் ஃபங்க்ஷன் டிக்ளரேஷன் திஸ் இஸ் ஃபங்க்ஷன் கால் அண்ட் திஸ் இஸ் அ ஃபங்க்ஷன் டெஃபினேஷன் எப்போவுமே ஃபங்க்ஷன் கால் அப்படின்னாவே அந்த இடத்துல யூஸ் பண்ணுற பேராமீட்டர் யூ கால் அட்டஸ் யூ கால் தட் பர்டிகுலர் பேராமீட்டர் ஆஸ் ஆக்சுவல் ஆர்குமெண்ட் ஃபங்க்ஷன் கால் அப்படின்னு இந்த இடத்துல யூஸ் பண்ற பேராமீட்டர் ஆக்சுவல் ஏன்னா அந்த இடத்துல தான் வேல்யூவை நீங்க பாஸ் பண்ண போறீங்க ஆக்சுவலா அதனால தட் யூ கால் இட் இஸ் ஆக்சுவல் ஆர்குமெண்ட் எந்த பர்டிகுலர் இடத்துல உங்களோட ஆர்குமெண்ட்ஸ் எது ரிசீவ் ஆகுதோ ஃபங்க்ஷனோட டெஃபினேஷன்ங்கிற அந்த ஹெட்டர்ல ஆக்சுவல் ஆர்குமெண்ட்ஸ் ரிசீவ் பண்றீங்கன்னா அதுக்கு பேரு ஃபார்மல் ஃபார்மல் ஆர்குமெண்ட்ஸ் சொல்றோம் ஸோ இந்த பாஸ் ஆஃப் ஃபங்க்ஷன் சொல்லி இருக்கக்கூடிய இந்த விஷயங்கள் ஃபங்க்ஷன் ப்ரோட்டோடைப் ஃபங்க்ஷன் டெஃபினேஷன் ஃபங்க்ஷன் கால் ஆக்சுவல் ஃபார்மல் ஆர்குமெண்ட்ஸ் ரிட்டர்ன் ஸ்டேட்மெண்ட் இது எல்லாம் சேர்ந்தது தான் இந்த இடத்துல நம்ம பார்த்தோம் எக்ஸாம்பிளா திஸ் இஸ் ஃபங்க்ஷன் டெஃபினேஷன் திஸ் இஸ் ஃபங்க்ஷன் கால் அண்ட் சாரி திஸ் இஸ் ஃபங்க்ஷன் டிக்ளரேஷன் ஆர் இ கால் இட் இஸ் அ ப்ரோட்டோடைப் அண்ட் பேராமீட்டர்ஸ் என்ன அண்ட் இந்த இடத்துல ஃபங்க்ஷன் காலில் ஆக்சுவல் பேராமீட்டர்ஸ் பாஸ் பண்ணியிருக்கோம் ஆக்சுவல் பேராமீட்டர் இந்த ஃபங்க்ஷன் டெஃபினேஷன்ல ப்ராசஸிங் ஸ்டேட்மெண்ட் எழுதுறோம் அதுக்கு பேர் தான் ஃபங்க்ஷன் பாடின்னு சொல்றோம் ப்ராசஸ் பண்றது ரிட்டர்ன் பண்றதுக்கு ஒரு ரிட்டர்ன் ஸ்டேட்மெண்ட் அதான் இதோட எக்ஸ்பிளேஷன் ஆர் பென் கிவன் திஸ் லைட் த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் லைன் இஸ் கால் ஃபங்க்ஷன் டிக்ளரேட்டர் அண்ட் இட் இஸ் ஃபாலோட் பை ஃபங்க்ஷன் பாடி அண்ட் ஃபங்க்ஷன் கால் இஸ் கெட்ஸ் ஆக்டிவேட்டட் ஒன் கால் டு ஃபங்க்ஷன் இஸ் இன்வோக்ட் தட் இஸ் ஃபங்க்ஷன் மஸ் பி கால் பை இட்ஸ் நேம் ஃபாலோட் பை த ஆர்குமெண்ட் லிஸ்ட் என்க்ளோஸ் இன் பேராந்திஸ் அண்ட் டெர்மினேட்டட் பை செபி காலன் பெராந்திசஸ் அப்படிங்கிறது எங்க வருதோ அந்த இடத்துல நீங்க டிசைட் பண்ணிக்கலாம் இட் இஸ் கால் இஸ் அ ஃபங்க்ஷன் கால் அப்படின்னு சொல்லிட்டு ஸோ ஆக்சுவல் அண்ட் ஆர் ஃபார்மல் ஆர்குமெண்ட்ஸ் எப்படி இருக்கும்னா ஆர்குமெண்ட்ஸ் தட் இஸ் பீன் கிவன் இந்த ஃபங்க்ஷன் கால் ஆர் கால் டஸ் ஆக்சுவல் ஆர்குமெண்ட் அண்ட் ஃபங்க்ஷன் டிக்ளரேட்டர் என்ன சொல்லியிருக்கும் அதுக்கு பேரு ஃபார்மல் ஆர்குமெண்ட்னு சொல்றோம் ஃபங்க்ஷன் டெஃபனேஷனுங்கிற இந்த இடத்துல இருக்கிறதுக்கு பேரு ஃபார்மல் காலில் வர்றதுக்கு பேரு ஆக்சுவல் ஸோ இந்த சீக்வன்ஸ் வந்து உங்களுக்கு சேமாக இருக்கணும் இந்த ஒய் அப்படின்னா அதுக்கு நேராக டேட்டா டைப் ஒய்லேயே உங்களுக்கு மேட்ச் ஆகிற மாதிரி இருக்கணும் பிகாஸ் ஒய் நீங்கள் ஆல்ரெடி ஃப்ளோட்னு சொல்லிட்டீங்க ஸோ இங்கேயும் ஃப்ளோட் இருக்கணும் இஸ் தட் இஸ் கேன் கால் ஆஃப் டேட்டா டைப் இன்டீஜர் ஸோ இந்த இடத்துல இன்டீஜர் டேட்டா டைப் சொல்லுவோம் And then last one is return statement. Return statement, Abdinaave, you have to use and compulsory in C++ to indicate the function is returning a value. Syntax path path in a return a variable name or some expressions and expressions are called. If variable name and you have parenthesis called a code, you can write as like this also. But you should terminate with a semicolon. So parts of a function la in the in the part, this is the main important concept. Function, prototype. parameters function call function definition so we will see some uh, examples like how it uh, looks function declaration gara prototype idu da function ku la adavadhu main function ku munnadi adha function neenga declare pandreenga main function ku la adha function call pandreenga main function ku keela veliya adha function define pandreenga function definition is called as a function body this is outline concept of a function main function ku munnadi mele declare pandreenga main function ku la function call pandreenga main function ku veliya you are defining that particular function So syntax this is a rough syntax of a function declaration and if a return type veno function name irukano arguments irukano function definition la adhe return type adhe function name and the argument list match a irukano processing function body eludhi irukano function body in the sense the processing statement that has been returned for that particular function to execute adha than i call it as a function definition so this is the sample function this is called as return type integer is called as a return type add int is called as a function name and this is called the formal parameters because function definition la irukudha adanal adukku peru formal parameters function call la irundhadna that is called as the actual parameters and return a plus b is a function body we will see one of the example that has been given in the prescribed textbook Write a program to declare the prototype of function sum. Prototype of function sum of being a radical. You have written one function. Header file include main kula. 
float return type some function name parameters that is called as a function prototype and int a is equal to 20 uh, float s comma b equal to 2.5 and the variable declare panir king s is equal to sum of a comma b so already so namari main function kulla <coughs> declare panala so in the definition in the prototype and the function call in the lg king sum of a comma b in solta so a is 20 comma 2.5 pass ahum in that the pass anonyme control udane inga vandro and the 20 x cosine ahu 2.5 y cosine ahu x plus y apdinga rada add up that is this 20 x ku vande 20 assign ahu b y ku vande 2.5 assign ahu so 20 plus 2.5 add panninga na 22.5 apdinga rada inga ungalku return ahu so that is displayed in here in the value of s s is equal to 22.5 abdina return now so that is the output you got over here that is output that has been displayed so this parsing argument the next topic is parsing argument la uh, there is concept applied for message passing so message passing abdina are the that is used to communicate between the two functions, that is between the caller and the callee function. So the three methods by which we can pass values to the function, three methods. First method is called as a call by value. Second, you call it as call by address. And third, you call it as call by reference. Call by value or the pass by value. Call by address is also called as pass by address and call by reference, pass by reference. This is another name that is being given. So first method is called by value or pass by value. As indicates, the value of the actual argument is passed to the formal argument and operation is done on the formal arguments. Actual argument or the values, it is being passed to the formal argument and the operation is done on that particular formal argument. Any change in the formal argument does not affect the actual argument because formal arguments are the photocopy of the actual argument. When a formal argument change when the actual argument reflect upon another because it is a formal argument when the actual argument or Xerox copy marina. So Xerox learning in a change panel original disturb a hadal and the madri. So when function is called by call by value method, it does not affect the actual content of the actual argument and original disturb a hadal. And other way, formal argument in a panna kudia changes that has been local to the block of the call to function. The function definition kula than the local. We will see one example over here to demonstrate call by value. Main kula declare paneer ko values vang ro. Values vang no ni function call varudu. In the other function call varudu. Call vandu ni control inga vandu ro. Inga vandu ni yom. Enna values vang namo adha vang eitu. You are going to interchange with the temporary variable k. k is equal to a, a equal to b, b equal to k. To change panita in function change in message display panita values x is equal to n y equal to n other in the location address lurking other information display panita marudi control main function kola po the main function kola po it in function main gra message display panita values and x and a y and a then address the store are console this is a concept so even in the output parangam so first n values mangir kona 5 and 4. 5 and 4 ngurupa x is 5 and y is 4. Function change ila interchange agadun so nama in the k ngurupa temporary variable use pani. So there has been interchange to so x ku vandu 4, y ku vandu 5 and the address location in na abdinga the display agadun 4019, 4092. Unu control that is going back again to the main function and inga original values x ku vangna 5, y ku vangna 4. Apdi edha arukka. So meaning that enna inga actual parameter ana x, y vandu 5, 4 dha that is the change of function definition. But the original is the change of the function. So, you can change the function of the main function. You can change the function of the main function. You can change the function. Hope you understand the difference between the call by value method. And call by address. Instead of passing values, addresses are passed. Functions operate on addresses rather than values. Address is the same. Operate panna poudhu not on the values. In the previous example, we saw about values. X and Y, 5, 4, 4, 5. Values are the same. And formal argument are nothing but they point us to the actual argument. Hence, the changes made in the arguments are 
permanent. Inga pointers are nama vekro because address abdi nama pointers mandro. So on inga panna kudiya changes is permanent. So in atla paranga adhe madhuri da but in atla address abdi inga rada nala pointer variable inga declare ayir krandar parameters on values on address a pass paneer kon. Matu badi adhe program da pointers are kada nala inga star inga yum star la use paneer kon. Hope you remember what is a pointer. A pointer is nothing but it is a variable that is used to access the address of another variable. So in the other way, 5, 4 is there. X is 5 and Y is 4. Change la you have 4 and 5 in the same Display the main function is 4 and 5 that display. That is the changes that you made in the change function is reflected in the main function also. That is the changes that you have done or permanent. In address layer by Matradanala permanent abinus. That is a pass by address. And third method we call it as pass by difference or call by difference. C level random method pass by value and pass by address. And a C plus plus like can also pass arguments by value, address, and reference. Co reference in the sense and copies the reference in the argument in the formal parameter. The reference is used to access the actual argument used in the call. So this is what your particular looks like. So these are three examples combined funny value, reference, and address. Elame combined funny kurutar kanga. Hope you can able to go through. Our example order explanation the function name the variable name value of pass pandro function being the address or reference pass panaduka example. The next topic is inline function. So every time a function is called, or a revenue or a function call execute pandra po. The particular series of instruction that takes place are you have to jump into the function function called jump on a no control and it have to use a register to save that particular data and that particular arguments have to be pushed into the stack and the control have to be returned to the calling function in the alarm process to not account the function call pandro no my soldier and i will lay internal in the valley and i'm a carry over panano so function body wonder if it is small so over the review of the actual code execution time on the room but just the other china function are crap it and I'm gonna say they're going to complicate it so see them on the party now for that it uses a pre-process of macros but in C++ plus plus we are using the concept of inline function inline function of being our concept use pandra to reduce a function called overhead so an inline function is a function that expanded in line when it is invoked as the name indicates an inline function is a function that expanded in line when it is invoked that is a compiler replaces a function call with a corresponding function code Epa the function call though upper compiler and the particular function code are replaced either so this is what the syntax in line of being in the keyword function name community so under a statement all other example paranga in line in the keyword flow function name in a pan wing are they the function declaration definition definition in a pan wing law data but or a difference you have to proceed the keyword in line in line float return type function name parameters so k into k no return pandering a square pandra this is the example of in line function some situation where the inline functions will not may not work as the function should not be recursive recursive work could other it should not contain static variables functions containing control structures such as switch a4 is a column work other and function main cannot work as inline these are some restrictions so this example that is add inline word before the function definition to convert simple function to inline function just adding the keyword inline in the matthum podo inline function a matraka inline updinger the matta add pond frequently executed interface functions come they use panic alarm so this is a program to define the function cube as inline main function cola just cube of three abdin call panita podo in the in the particular three abdin gara the kundana three into three into three 27 
5 into 5 into 5 on 25 being in the value number of the just calls in line function Q with the argument argument and the actual value 3 all pass upon a lower variable of value on pass upon a 5 of being rather being a variable value we have passed so this is the in line function next topic is default arguments default values are specified when a function is declared Company looks at the prototype to see how many argument function uses or useful in situations where some arguments always have the same value. And the Mari the situations la same arguments, same values are default arguments use. This is example. Header file and main function. See in the main function, the prototype is sum is a function name. Have the values like this the parameters like this and initialization of the values a equal to 2 b equal to 3 c is equal to 4 and equal to 5 first c out statement is sum is equal to sum of a comma b comma c comma d so you can directly add all the a plus b plus c plus c 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 you can get the output as 14 and the second is a comma b comma c here the parameter d20 is being omitted so that so 2 plus 3 plus 4 7 plus 2 9 9 plus 20 29 you will get the actual default argument so then the concept of being putting now declaration and now look at the company rapport in the call in the value leo the other the replace cycle on the concept so in a deal so in the abc the value to d add panic they marry a comma b in a group of two plus three need to go c and d add panic on 15 plus 20 35 35 plus 5 40 and the 40 in a character is it and they mother in the game of torque and i a two word to go be the latima at panic 45 plus 2 47 and the output of the money will look at it like what so in the sum in the sum of updating rapport in the well now values are added to in the function cool and over in the one that are at funny values return so that is called as the default arguments the next and the main important topic is overloading so overloading means uh, as the name indicates you're going to assign multiple meanings to a function name or operator yeah in that la function name or operator and run to put the base room play now in c plus plus you have two types of overloading one is function and one is operator so function overloading nine and it allows a functions that conceptually perform the same task on objects of different types to be given the same name same task on different types on a same name or a value or a name on a data type matto where a that you call it as a function overloading operator overloading abdina it is also the user defined objects Plus an addition to you on an in a pondering and on the addition of in a put a sign or operator apply overloading apply pondering on the operator process a mapping that you call it as operator overloading that you will see in the latest chapter but in the chip are considered pan up or the function overloading that is same task different data type same name is in a concept so this is a c11 in the maria in the schneid is not allowed or a function name data type return type parameters of the function with the same name in the program is not allowed in c and a c plus plus like it is allowed in the maria is not allowed the same name like you same name you know putting a same task same name different data type task and then paranga addition under the sum data type paranga different are that has been allowed in C++. So function is overloading now. Same name is given to different function. The two functions with the same name will differ at least in one of the following. So under function have been number solo name on other year ago and a similar difference or go in and parting in the number of parameters. Now the parameter of the moon parameter of the lower parameter of the data types of the parameters and the order of appearance. It is in the Maris differences when the exist writer. So the functions argument list that is a number and type of argument is known as a function signature. 
parameter base panni da neenga and difference edukka poringa function overloading la so if two functions are having the same name and types of arguments in the same order they are said to have the same signature ore mari irundhuchna same signature even if they are using distinct variable names it is in matter for instance following two functions have the same signature idu for idu da same sign appdi nama solru ana variables vanda it is been different so it is allowed so illa vanda some valid and some invalid alla solirukku i think can go through so this is what the example same task maximize sorry same function name max maximum kuduthirukom return type idu vandu integer idu vandu float data type parunga idu integer idu float ana ulle irukka koodiya task vandu same da that is a greater than b na return a else return b ingeyum a greater than equal to b na return a else return b task vandu same you are using the same task same task ore vale function name onnu da max max ana return type vera idu one float idu one int inga parameter inga int inga float so neenga function call pandra po adoda parameters match panni paathittu andha function call pandra po adukulla poi andha function execute aagum so multiple function share the same name with different signatures andha mari irukkara da we call it as function overloading so overloading function call eppadi compiler eduthukadana signature base panni signature na enna na parameter type number of parameters parameter type integer ah float ah paakum evlo parameters irukku nu check pannu function oda return type vandu function oda signature nama solla mudiyadhu function call decide panikkaradha and return type vandu actually use panikkanum this is the example void sum void sum void sum nu moonu function declare panirukom of the data type one integer in one double in one character main function ku la values a equal to 10 b equal to 20 int soliyaachu double ku soliyaachu character ku soliyaachu function call pandrom call sum of int call sum of double sum of character la call pandrom so int n call pandra pa a comma b eduthone inga pokirum adhe mari double c comma d ponone inga vandarano character nu inga vandarano idu eppadi possible appdin pathinga na inga a equal to 10 b equal to 20 ன்னு இருக்கு சோ அத தான் இந்த இடத்துல நீ பாஸ் பண்ணுவ இது இத இந்த இடத்துல வந்து பாஸ் பண்ணுவ இந்த பாராமீட்டர்ஸ் சோ இந்த பாராமீட்டர் sorry just a minute இந்த பாராமீட்டர்ஸ் அதாவது 10, 20 அப்படிங்கறது இங்க சோ இங்க எடுத்துட்டு வர்றீங்க a 20 சோ இந்த ஸ்டேட்மென்ட் பார்த்தானேயும் இங்க கண்ட்ரோல் இங்க வரும் எப்படி வரும் அப்படினா ஏங்கிறது டென் பிங்கிறது டுவெண்ட்டி நீ கொடுத்துட்ட டேட்டா டைப் என்னன்னு பார்க்கும் இன்டீஜர் ஸோ இங்க இருக்கக்கூடிய பராமீட்டர்ல இதுதான் இன்டீஜர் இது வந்து டபுள் இது வந்து கேரக்டர் ஸோ கண்ட்ரோல் இங்க வராது இங்கதான் வரும் ஸோ டென் டுவெண்ட்டி எடுத்துட்டு டென் டுவெண்ட்டி ஆட் பண்ணி இந்த இடத்துல உனக்கு தேர்ட்டி அப்படிங்கறத திரும்ப இங்க அனுப்பிடும் ஸோ சம் ஆஃப் இன்டீஜர்ஸ் ஆர் தேர்ட்டின்னு எடுத்துக்கும் அதே மாதிரி செவன் பாயிண்ட் ஃபைவ் டூ எயிட் பாயிண்ட் ஒன் ஃபோர் வந்து இந்த இடத்துல பாஸ் பண்ணதுக்கு அப்புறம் சீக்கம் அடிக்கு எடுத்ததுக்கு அப்புறம் சீக்கம் அடி டபுள் குள்ள எடுத்துட்டு வரும் அதே மாதிரி கேரக்டர் இ ஈக்குவல் டு ஏ எஃப் இஸ் ஈக்குவல் டு பி நீங்க எடுத்து வந்ததுக்கு அப்புறம் இங்க இது எடுத்துட்டு வரும் இந்த இடத்துல என்னன்னா ஆஸ்கி வேல்யூ ஆன ஏட வேல்யூ என்ன பி ஓட வேல்யூ என்னன்னு பார்த்து கண்டுபிடிச்சு இது ஆட் பண்ணிக்கும் எக்ஸ் பிளஸ் வாங்கிற so this is a function overloading concept same task same function name but with different parameters this is the function overloading or a concept so some rules are there are called the principles of function overloading if two functions have a similar type and number of arguments a function cannot be overloaded same type same number of arguments are there overload panna mudiyad for inga parunga idhe mari sum idhe mari irukka na they can be <coughs> And the second one is passing constant values directly instead of variables also results in ambiguity. Constant values are passed by in the Mari situation, it is, it is somewhat unclear. And the compiler attempts to find an accurate definition that matches and accurate definition are going to be definition when they clear out of your column. And fourth one, if there is no accurate match form, implicit conversion, because when they try to find a good example that you can go through. and fifth point is no if internal conversion fails na user defined conversion carry out pananum so that is some uh, process that i have to carry over and at the step internal conversion pandra po ambiguity kandipa create aagum if one data type is compatible with two or more data types we have to go through with this square long r double r and the mari la pathukonu 
இஃப் ப்ரோக்ராம் ஹஸ் டூ வேர்ஷன்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஃபங்க்ஷன் ஃப்ளோட் இருக்கு டபுளுக்கு இருக்கு அப்படின்னா ஃப்ளோட் நம்பர் பாஸ் பண்ணீங்கன்னா இந்த டபுள் வேர்ஷன் ஆஃப் ஃபங்க்ஷன் இஸ் எலக்டட் ஃபார் எக்ஸிகூஷன் அதுவே இட் இஸ் நாட் அப்ளிகபிள் வித் இன்டீஜர் ஆன் லாங் இன்டீஜர் அந்த மாதிரி சம் ப்ரிகாஷன்ஸ் எல்லாம் இருக்கு ஸோ அது வந்து அடிஷனுக்கு தெர் இஸ் பின் கிவன் இனியா ப்ரிஸ்கிரைப் டெக்ஸ்ட் புக் ஆட் ஃபார் இன்டீஜர் அண்ட் ஃப்ளோட் நம்பர் நம்ம ப்ரீவியஸாக பார்த்த மாதிரியே தான் பட் இங்கே இன்டீஜருக்கும் ஃப்ளோட்டுக்கும் ஆட் பண்ணியிருக்கோம் that is the output so some precautions what you have to follow in this uh, function overloading us the first point is only those function that basically do the same task on different sets of data should be overloaded this is the most important point that is same task on the carry over pannano ana different sets of data and the mariana situation la you can able to apply the function overloading ana the overloading of function with identical name for different purposes summon vechittu ne vera vela seiyakudadu summna addition da mananu ana integer la addition mananu float la addition mananu double addition mananu na mattum da function overloading carry on pananu and more than one function has to be actually defined on each of these occupy memory kandipa memory occupation we have we have to concentrate and instead of function overloading you can using default arguments may take more sense and few overheads function overloading one of the feature a irundalum default arguments are used under the one of the important concept and you have to declare the function prototypes before main and pass variable instead of passing constant directly this will avoid ambiguity that frequently occurs while overloading function so indha mari overload functions irundhuchuna main function ku munnadi declare pandrathu one of the important point so hope you understand the functions that is existence c++ function oda na enna modular programming oda concept and the modular programming oda concept ku appuram two types of function and the next important is and the parts of a function idu da main idu da function indha anju purinjukittinga na everything is very easy hope you understand